Hi children, welcome back. So in this today's video, we are going to discuss about a new topic that is water. I think you will get this one and reverse. So about water, we are going to discuss in this video. Then first of all, we will learn what is water. What is water? Water is a liquid and which is very much essential for our health and even for other animals and even for other uh, plants also and we do so many things with water and uh, there are lot of works which are uh, really not possible without the water then how the water is going to look we know that water is going to look just like a colorless and it is a liquid and then it is tasteless it is it is not having any smell that is odorless and um, it has the property that whatever we put there are a lot of things like uh, more than 80 percent things whatever we put in the water those things are going to dissolve in the water so so like this some uh, special characteristics are there about the water then we can see water in uh, mainly three forms that is um, liquid form the water we drink we use for many household works those all are in the liquid form and uh, second one is uh, solid form yes water in the solid form then do you have any idea how we are going to get the water in the solid form yes ice cube in the form of ice cubes so we can get a water in the form of ice cubes that is hard ice cubes that is known as uh, the form of solid of the water and third one is gas form that is gaseous form uh, the third um, um, state of water is gaseous form see um, you might have seen if you um, boil the water if you give some heat to the water after some time that water will, it will get uh, start boiling then uh, once after boiling a uh, point is reached then again you can see uh, if you keep like that only if you continue giving the fire just uh, downside of the water vessel then the almost all the water is going to be uh, uh, the step by step the water amount is going to be disappeared then have you ever thought that where does that water is going yes yes in the form of steam that water will come in the form of steam upside and that steam is or, or gas is going to uh, mix with the surrounding. Then this is how the liquid form is going to be changed in the gaseous form. See children, uh, water is most important for all the things and uh, water we use mainly for drinking. Then other, uh, other than drinking we use water for other many household uh, things like uh, washing cloths, washing vessels for bathroom, cleaning the floors and even washing the cloths. Um, if, you, if we want to wash some any things more than 80% of things in our houses we need water. Water is most necessary. Even for good things also we need and some bad things also we need. To clean drainage also we need the water. To clean vessels also we need the water. To clean kitchen also we need the water. Then so like this the water is very much necessary for us. Then we are using this water, liquid form of water mainly for the drinking. Because we cannot drink the solid form of the water that is ice. So we can eat the ice cream and ice cubes are used for some many purposes to keep cool and um, uh, in the fridge also the ice cubes ice will be there and in the uh, lot uh, some areas where the climate will be very cold temperature will be very less then in that uh, area the ice uh, water is going to be remain in the ice form because of the lowest temperature then like this we have the three states of the water that is liquid gas and the solid the mainly liquid is used for drinking purpose solid is used for some other to prepare ice cream in cooking and maintaining the temperature so like this and the gaseous form is also used for many things but you will uh, for your class it is not there if i tell you i will you won't understand that then uh, i think i will give you one uh, a simple example see uh, steam is used 
whenever we cook the rice that rice and some grains we are going to cook in the cooker that is going to cooked by the cooker with the help of steam that is pressure of the steam the similarly even the steam is also very much useful the gaseous form of water that is steam is also very much useful in preparing cooking and in the various purposes in the big like in factories also the in the biggest largest form that steam is also very much uh, useful that is third form of water that is gaseous form of water so like this the water characteristics of water and the forms of water we can study <coughs> then a uh, next one is uh, we know that these all are the characteristics of the water and the uses of the water can you tell me some uses of water what are the uses of water yes of course for drinking for washing the cloths washing the vessels washing the floor washing for bathing brushing isn't it cooking washing the vegetables washing the fruits if i wash any simple thing from my house i need the water even i if i want to wash the bathroom also i need the water then water is very much necessary mainly for drinking for human beings and the animals and the plants and some other trees also then other than that it is useful for non living thing also like washing and maintaining them and keeping them clean so like this it is used then uh, i hope you have understood first of all what is water and then what are the characteristics of water what are the characteristics of water how do you are going to tell characteristics of water this only water is colorless water will be in the liquid form or it will be in the solid form and the gaseous form and then it is colorless it is smellless odorless it is tasteless we cannot recognize the water whether it is a bitter or it is a very tasty like sweet like juice no it will be not like that it will give us some a type kind of taste but it is tasteless we cannot recognize as a this water has this particular taste like this and uh, it can flow from higher concentration to lower concentration and uh, it has the nature of uh, flowing it has the nature of uh, flowing always from higher amount to the lower amount these all are some characteristics of the water so we can say then um i hope you have understood whatever we have discussed in this video today's video and uh, in the next video we are going to uh, continue this uh, this uses importance of the water and uh, how we are going to get the water that is store um, uh, sources of the water so like this many different topics we will discuss in the next video then um, um uh, before ending this video i would like to give you uh, some uh, questions so you can solve in your home see first of all you can write write the characteristics of the water three characteristics of the water and then you can write write six uses of water i hope you will do this homework in the next studio we will uh, continue with, with the next topic till then take care bye bye